Good morning, everybody. This is John G. with Bitcoin News. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe and check us out at bitcoinne.ws. And today we're going to talk about how Bitcoin breaks down. When Bitcoin rose up to $1,000, people got kind of scared to buy a whole Bitcoin. That's kind of expensive. Most people can't just drop $1,000 on some digital currency that is brand new. So there was a lot of misconception that you must buy a whole Bitcoin. And that's actually untrue. Bitcoin is easily divisible to eight decimal places currently. And that actually can be changed in the future if we need more decimal places. But let's just talk about the eight decimal places today and how it's subdivided. As you can see on the screen, there are a lot of different ways to call the denominations of Bitcoin fractions. There are three common denominations of Bitcoins, which we'll cover. And there are a few more, which you can see on the image here, but they're less adopted. You got to remember, this is a consensus. So there are ideas proposed, but that doesn't mean these ideas are adopted by everybody. There might be one day when we call 100 Satoshis a bit, and it would be very similar to the way the dollar works today. But for reference, I want to talk about three different denominations of Bitcoin, and that would be MBTC for milli Bitcoin, UBTC for micro Bitcoin, and the smallest denomination of a Bitcoin is called a Satoshi, and that is eight decimal places. So one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin is a Satoshi. So the first one is milli Bitcoin and one MBTC is one one thousandth of a Bitcoin. So that would be zero point zero zero one BTC and that's one milli Bitcoin. So right now one milli Bitcoin is worth about twenty four cents or you know, like a quarter. And UBTC is a micro Bitcoin, and that is six decimal places down. So one UBTC would be 0 0.000001. Currently, the value of one UBTC would be about one fiftieth of a penny. So as you can see, Bitcoin breaks down to very small denominations. And of course, the smallest division of a Bitcoin is called a Satoshi, named after the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. And one Satoshi is one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, or eight decimal places down. And lastly, I kind of want to talk about a new term called bits. Now, bits are actually micro bits, and they're kind of just dropping the micro part of it and just calling it flat out bits. Bits are very similar to the dollar. They start at 100 Satoshis. So a Satoshi is kind of like a sense in this case, and then bits would be like dollars. So if you had one point to one bits, that would be one bit and 21 Satoshis, kind of like cents, one dollar and 21 cents. This will probably be the way we call it because as deflation happens and the value of Bitcoin increases, one whole Bitcoin will be too expensive to buy a loaf of bread. So we can easily divide that down into a term like bits, where a loaf of bread might be a couple thousand bits or a couple hundred bits or even a few bits if Bitcoin gets wildly adopted across the world. There really is no room for error. All calculations are made on electronic devices. One of the best things about Bitcoin is there's no need to provide any change. This essentially will get rid of cashiers at any establishment. The cashier's job is to take a payment, validate that that payment went in and process that order, and then also to provide change back to the customer. Well, with Bitcoin, we can eliminate all that. If a person sends in a payment, 
the system will automatically announce that payment to the network. So we have record of that payment coming in and there never will be any change provided because we can send the exact amount of money that we want to. And this is all calculated by electronic devices. So there's really no room for error. But when it comes down to talking about these denominations, we do have to have some idea because say a merchant, they need to articulate how much bitcoins a particular product is. So it might be one whole bitcoin or it might be a few m bits or u bits or just plain bits. The market will really decide what's popular. So we don't really have to force any of this terminology. As bitcoin adoption increases, these terms will become apparent to us and we will all start to use the same terminology. But even if some parts of the world don't use the same terminology, it doesn't matter. It's all math and it's all it's all numbers and those numbers are universal. So I hope that wasn't too confusing to you guys. If you do have any questions, please comment below. Also subscribe and check us out at bitcoinne.ws. That's Bitcoin News. Thanks guys and you have a great day.